And I think there was also one mind control dude over here in the back. Might as well check that out now too. Since we're wrapping up a few things, I think he was in the last room. I can hear him. And if I can take him out with the stun gun, there we go, quarantine. That's probably him. And then the keypad. Oh, I even have the key code now. And then the... He killed himself. Does that count as me killing him? Because that would be bad, right? God damn it. That's the first time I saw... What the... De Vries. Oh, that's the code for De Vries' office. 7324. But uh, he kind of blew himself up. And it was so quick that I couldn't have charged the disruptor. Charge either. So I don't think I could have saved his ass. Well, if that counts as killing him, I'm going to be really, really furious. But, um, yeah. That's too bad. Sorry, Trevor. Wanted to save your life, but apparently... Oh, I wasn't allowed to. More stuff. And then uh, the secure pharmaceuticals. Oh, I have the key card now. Should probably take a look as well. Might be some more mimics. Doesn't seem like it. So, test tubes. And Beth Eno, who just has coffee. And now we have another Neuromod. And the anti rat pharma we've seen, uh, fabricated plan we've seen all over the place already. But some more medical supplies are always nice too. Medkits is really good. And another Psy Hypo on the floor here. So, that's that. So, on the other side of the area, we have human resources. Blocked by sofa. There we go, there goes the sofa. And then the tape drive. I should be able to throw that, right? Like that. Okay. It threw itself for some reason. So this is the only area in the lobby we haven't been to yet. So it might be filled with enemies. But it is very dark. Oh, there's one mimic over there. So might as well mark it. I'm actually going to go with the pistol because those are going to be low level mimics. And then this is also blocked off, which makes sense, so we can't really access it from the other side either. And then the mimic in the back is the cabinet. There we go. This is pretty dark. There's not a chip set here, um, or booze. The beam shielding. Hmm. I could also go into, because uh, there's this bit in the scientist part. It actually allows for further uh, installation of psychoscope chipsets. So if I do this and then this, I can install more chipsets. So there's two more slots now. Uh, the mimic detection is nice. Reduce the time it takes to repair an object. That sounds like a really useless skill and I haven't found anything uh, that's remotely as useful as shotgun critical so I think I'm just gonna go with the fear shielding and then the psychoshock shielding so that's two bits of resistance that might help out later on and now we also got last chance apparently so I need to unequip something I'm gonna unequip the slide thing last chance blows that would otherwise kill you will leave you with one health instead a five second cooldown that is great and then the beam shielding reduces damage taken from laser attacks. What else do I have equipped that's basically useless? Backlash. I don't think I have backlash. Because that's a psychic ability. So let's just go with the beam shielding instead. There we go. Optimized our abilities a bit. And then we have Thomas's, Thomas Tucker's uh, terminal here. Hello, Sandro. It's my pleasure to inform you that your application has been accepted. We've shipped you a packet of documents. Please review and sign by the end of this week. Once the paperwork is done, I'll send travel instructions. We'd like to get you up here next month if possible and begin orientation. It's always challenging to reserve travel, but you'll be booked for an exhilarating ascent on one of our shuttles. Please accept my welcome on behalf of the Transtar family. We look forward to bringing you aboard. Hunter Hale, Tommy, I appreciate your concern and understand you don't want to be held accountable for discrepancies on the books. Hunter Hale's compensation package stands out because he negotiated with me. 
Consider the matter settled even if you paid him six times what other pilots make. Our projections for this year would support it, Alex. And then, I suppose that is that supposed to be Chief? Enjoy your time at the top while it lasts because it won't be long. See what I have to deal with? This needs to stop. From Josh to Lane. But it doesn't seem to be relevant for us at the moment. Okay, let's go out the other way. Oh. Um. Hey, Mimic. Take this. <laughs> it's just got crushed, the poor bastards. The poor bastards. All the way down down underneath that cabinet what i want to do is actually go to the neuromod division and check i think that's upstairs so the neuromod division is that where we started then oh look here thank you um because that's where the escape pod key for alex's escape pod is supposed to be and i feel like if we get it that we might get a bit more information as well so neuromod division it is so this is actually where we started the game can hear mimics walking around already oh that's december wait why didn't it tell us that before then that december is right here i didn't have the psychoscope obviously but otherwise it's a bit weird that the game doesn't tell us that hello december it has a note you might need this 7629 from M. Is M us? Ooh. Alex is off a safe. That is nice. That's in the Arboretum, though. So that's the top pad that we found there. Okay. Uh, there's a few other things here. So his escape pod key is obviously going to be in his office. But I just want to quickly go through this area to see if there's nothing else we can do now. Oh, hello, Mimic. Um, can we do anything about this, do I? Ah. It can actually hit me through the door. Okay, fine. I'll get you out of there, buddy. Ah. Fuck you. Goodbye. Damn you. Okay. So... Security station, locked with a password, no problem. There we go, open that up. There's two utilities here. Unlock skill recorder. Please keep traffic through the skill recorder area at a minimum during recording sessions to avoid data corruption. I unlock the skill recorder. Don't know what that does, but I'm gonna get the area map as well. And then, as usual, in the security station, we also get access to the crew. And one more mail. Send help, please. Grays have overridden the door locks, and there's no way out of fabrication. Okay. Ah, there's also a weapon upgrade kit here. Don't mind if I do. There's definitely a phantom here now. That's a skill recorder. I hit him, but he survived. That's weird, I thought my normal criticals actually could kill a mimic in one go. There's definitely another phantom here as well. But, I mean, you guys are a joke right now, right? Ow! Yeah, they are, but they still hit with the psychoshocks, of course. Let's eat some dim sum. And then, of course, the mimic. Hello. Goodbye. There we go. Surprise attack on a Mimic's Mimic. Anything else in here? So that's probably the very first phantom we saw that just went into this room and never came back. Let's eat that as well. To get back to full health. I do love that. That food skill is one of the best. One of the best. Um, seriously? I mean... These are probably programmed to just hide instead of attack, because that, that was a bit silly. Oh, and there's the etheric phantom. Oh yeah, because right, that's the room I couldn't really enter before, but I mean... This is just... Glass, right? Yeah. 
I think so. I could use one of the null wave transmitters. I have enough right now. To just take it out like this. And that. Oh! A what? You're supposed to be down, buddy. Okay, it, it still could teleport for some reason. I would think that's a psychic attack, but... Oh, come on, it's gone. It's gone, let me off the hook. There we go, so this is another area... Oh, that's Dalton. Hadley Dalton, not Josh Dalton. So is that the brother of Josh? Junior Bookman? But I don't care about passwords, do I? Ooh, that was close. Okay. But we did get in, and there's another email here. Again, fantastic. Another decontamination exercise. What do you think they found? Well, I mean, it's not an exercise, buddy. Just gonna check this, because those seem to be... Heatar. Ooh! Oh, boom. There he goes. Another corpse here, Helen Croft. I should have eaten those eels. Piano. Piano. Okay. That's just a little bit weird. Did I actually see everything in this room? So I feel like this was actually going further. Yeah, this was definitely going further up. But I'm guessing that just goes to the upper level. Joshua Fanstry with another Neuromod. And more frayed wires. Always nice as crafting materials, but... This goes up. And that probably leads onto the upper floor. That was showing me a red... Red indicator through the door there. That's a bit weird. Volunteer testing. Is there something? Definitely. There we go. Don't know why he, why he changed into a chair like that, but... There we go. More mimics down. The only good mimic is a dead mimic. I should drink. So I can definitely hear another phantom walking around. What's this? Okay, so that goes to the upper floor we've seen before. And then I can use leverage to... Oh! Oh shit, the cart was... Yeah, the cart was a mimic. Great. Did it just... Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, there he is. There we go. Jesus, he was fat. There we go. So stay calm. Shoot him in the face. Let's get the Mimic Viewer on. So that's another test subject. That's interesting. I need to be a bit more careful about me walking around here. Because this is, of course, still Mimic Central. Now, there's definitely still... Um, phantom around here, because because I can hear him talking. Ooh, wow. It's even a Voltaic one. Uh, EMP charge. In the face. There we go. Goodbye to you, sir. And let's give me that them some two new remotes. That's always nice. And I see there's a sort of surgery area. And we got our EMP back. Which is always nice. Um... And this surgery bit actually has a console that we can check out. Patient not available, procedure not available. Okay, perform neural scan. So there must be a patient in there. Uh, engage. Surgical harness. No patient. Okay. The bereaved subject may be confused upon awakening from their aptoregressive. Play the Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos One. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. This is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as apto-regressive neurotomy. For the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills or recalling details. More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, please, rest easy for now. 
Once you feel well enough, I'll come by to conduct your exit interview. See you soon. Okay, Hello, that sounded volunteer. a bit shift. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Goodwin. I'm the there we go. You can stop that now. What else do we have here? Oh, there we go. So this is... I have no idea where we are now. Are we on the other side of the hallway? More mimics? No? Okay, so this is the... Yeah, okay, so... This is that, this is that. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting my bearings. I'm getting my bearings. So the only door I haven't really checked out yet is over here. So let's go into crouch again. Get the psychoscope on. And this is another med bay. So, med kit. Anti-rad, of course. Always the fabricated plan for the anti-rad medicine, right? The medicine we barely used in this game. And more med kits. So that's definitely what we're here for. Um, that's basically it. So that's the upper area of the Neuromod Division. God damn it. Every single time. I know they're not supposed to be... That's scary anymore, but I just jumped again. I have goosebumps and throw that away. God damn it. And the game just decided to start playing scary music for me for some reason. There's a few other doors here that we never checked out. So while we're here, if we can open those, that would be nice. So we even have the key for the volunteer quarters. Chipper. Oh god. Yeah, well, this is a hellhole. So, the flashlight doesn't work with the psychoscope. And there's no power here, so... Objective number one, turn on the power. Oh, cold. Um, thank you for the banana pudding. There's definitely a lot of pudding here. Probably what the volunteers were eating. It's eerie quiet. This guy actually looks pretty okay. So he's just one of those alive volunteers. There must be a control somewhere for the power. This seem to be habitation pods, but of course the door is closed. Restricted. Restricted area is always the area I want to go into, obviously. So if I use the psychoscope, it actually just turns off my flashlight. It's also an easy way to get a bit of battery back. So these are the toilets. Toilets are not supposed to be this bloody game. Okay. Uh, that goes. That's at least one Mimic down. Anybody else wants to be funny? Power control terminal. That sounds what we need to. And a note. Luca is no contrabandist. I don't know why he has the goods that he has. I can show you where he keeps them. But fair is fair. You want his goods. You look all the way with me. Okay, Evgeny. They needed to make certain that he talks a bit weird. Talks a bit funny. So that's what they did. God damn it, I shot it and nothing happened. It was twitching. I heard that much. But, power control terminal. This seems to be what we need, right? So this... Turn... Oh! That should have enabled the power now. Why is this in a room like that? It's a bit... Okay. Why is everything electrified now? We'll do the glue dance again. There we go. I don't know why that turned everything electric all of a sudden, but at least everything's on now. Oh god. There we go. Shotgun. Don't hesitate. There's a lot of mimics in this area. And a lot of ammo. That I always I always like. Two trash cans, that was That's not normal, is it? Swept the batteries. Veggie plant. So these are the habitation pots. Might be actually something in this one. So can we now enter this restricted area? No. 
There seems to be... Those are Typhon lures. But there's another door there. I think I could force that open. Uh, now that the lights are on. I'm a bit... Okay. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, fuck, no. Where is he? There we go. I hate that that thing is completely invisible. You can't, you just can't see him. Yeah, I know that that's the, the definition of invisible, but still, it's a bit weird, right? Let's eat the shaky lemon pie. And then we can open this up. We can open, so that's just another security terminal. Fine. Then we can open, ooh, mimics. There's a lot of duplicate objects. Oh, and there was a, a control panel over there as well. But, we might, might even learn a bit more about the father of Michaela here. Oh, those are recycler charges, even more useful. Items confiscated in the latest shakedown. John, I take this stuff pretty seriously. I've already alerted Alex at the nature of his contraband. We're taking 37 out of here. Cigars and booze are one thing, but we can't have volunteers stockpiling stolen recycler charges. What do you think he plans to do? Well, he can pretty easily kill people with that. Weapon upgrade kit. There's a lot of stuff in here. If you can enter this area early, that would be nice. I hear mimic twitching is probably just those terminal things. Uh, there we go. Plastic tubing. And now we have volunteer quarters access. Unlock. Can unlock that as well. And then the email. John, thanks for reaching out. I've asked Chief Elazar to send a team to do a quick once over of the premises to ensure that you are absolutely safe during the next shift. Obviously, the safety of both our volunteers and our security staff is our number one priority. We unfortunately can't post any more security personnel to this location at the time, but we're looking to expand our security staff and may be able to revisit this issue in the future. Let me know if you have any questions. So that was originally Miss Goodwin. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. The mornings, this morning, 16 threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 2352, not the old number on file. Pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed that. I think I've read that already. Probably climb my way up there, but why is the question? Talos and a wrench. Where does this lead? And there we go, so room filled with mimics. Interesting. Uh, I also forgot something, by the way, in this other room. Because uh, there was another alarm panel here, and I, I will be damned if I don't hit every single alarm panel in this game. No, nothing on this one. So, a few turrets here, another corpse, and EMP shielding. That sounds interesting. So that's on the suit, an EMP shielding decreases the effects of EMP damage on your suit and weapons. That is great. So let's get rid of the drunken effects and just put EMP shielding on there. So that's a very good upgrade. Rich Ivers and two more turrets. What the hell was that? Oh god. A science operator. That's corrupted. That is interesting, I suppose, but... I can... Move this. And open up... Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, don't know what happened there, but... Stun gun. There we go. This area is a lot bigger than I thought. Because... This is all still in the Neuromold division. 
and I think I'm actually gonna have to take a break as we keep going. And there's an elevator here even. The fabrication. I can't open Halden Grace's office. Oh god. Die! There's even a freaking technopath in here. Is this a room I've been into? It doesn't seem like it, because there's a corpse even. Hmm. And that office seems nice as well. Anyone uh, want to go into that office? Dude, I sure do. Oh, wait. I can even do it like this. I wanted to check if there's an opening in the roof, but... Um... Oh, hi. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, the crossbow thingy. I think that's that. Oop. There we go. There we go. I love how it could technically smash glass. Doesn't make any sense, but it definitely did that. Uh, more shotgun shells. That gives me back my shell. And I keep going. I'm still going with this. Please wait in progress. Info revoking Neuromod fabrication licenses. Cancel. Make it the new fabricating Neuromods on the current license. Okay, we already did that, but... Fabrication department is a class 1000. Clean room, operate doors with caution, pursuant to trans star stand, blah, blah, blah. Knock the door. Okay, that seemed to unlock the door over there. And then two emails, exotic materials. Well then, where do you think it comes from? You're sitting on the station's largest store of it, and you haven't wondered what it is they have us injecting into our frontal lobes. You're brilliant, Grace, but you have the mind of an engineer. Good at answering questions, but not asking them. Second guessing, the U's never struck you until you saw that report from Psychotronics, did it? Helen. And then the missing neuromods. We have four neuromods here in the test lab. We received four, signed for four, and there are four in our secured storage. If you're saying our you shipped seven, I advise you to take it up with security and your delivery personnel. This isn't the first time neuromods have gone missing somewhere between fabrication and testing. Interesting. So they do make fab uh, molds in here. Just gonna check this, cause that chair could definitely be another mimic. Cause this is one hell, hell of a creepy room again. Um, there are mold fabrication plan and the transcript from Halden Graves. Running checks. Sim lab secure. Well, except for Igwe, but he'll be up all night. Speaking of up, did you see the photos of his daughter, Maya? But that's not his daughter. It's his wife. Are you kidding me? No, she died. Well, when Igwe was younger, it's in his records. Christ, you've seen his records? Yeah. During the security checks, looking for those red flag sykes that the brass is up in arms about? Apparently, came home, found her dead on the floor. Aneurysm. Spent your life studying the brain. The brain takes its toll. With everything else going on at the time, with the shaming... Christ. He already said that, but I don't think he heard you. He's not looking at this station, that's for sure. Okay, and we got another transcribe, apparently. Alex, I figured it out. Just too late. Graves, are you still in fabrication? The receptor molecules, the exotic neurotransmitters, we didn't synthesize them. And there's no terrestrial source. Graves, don't do anything drastic. You know me. You know I always have a contingency plan. We've been shoving it into our skulls. It all comes from them. But you, you never... I'm going to send someone to help you. I need to get this out now. Oh God, but the neuromods, they can still be fabricated. Graves, do not touch the neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? Oh, and I just turned that off. So the neuromods... Well, we kind of already knew that. The neuromods come from the Typhoon, but as long as we don't use psychic abilities, according to the game itself, because I can go into status, it says in the bottom right, you have little to no Typhoon material in your system. So, I would assume that we're still fine if we just use the neuromods for human abilities. And Hold Grace figured that out. Oh. 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 I think he killed himself. While trying to get the Neuromod stuff out of his head. Uh, that or Alex sent someone to kill him. That might also be the case. But it's Alex definitely isn't a good guy, is he? Is he? There's one in his room. But I'm assuming this is not going to be one of those openable ones. 
because it would make more sense that they put those in uh, accessible areas for them so they can start, well, smuggling supplies. So, with that done, we found a lot of new things, but we're going to have to spend a bit more time exploring the Neuromod division. So we'll get back to this, but I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Prey. And when we get back, we're going to continue our tour of the Neuromod division. So thank you guys so much for watching. And see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.